Good afternoon, I'd like to welcome everybody back to another edition of Foreclosurepedia Podcast. <clears throat> Foreclosurepedia Podcast, presentation of the Foreclosurepedia Radio Network, which airs each Sunday evening at 2300 hours. Been having a lot of requests to get into some heavy documentation on charging or energizing, which I call it, a house. When we energize a house, what we're talking about is every house has an electrical system. The United States government, realtors, other individuals have a need to know whether or not that electrical system is actually working. We're going to start with the panel. When I come over here to this panel, see my breaker is in the off position. My dryer is in the on. Now I have some other stuff going on here. What we'll do is we'll take it from the top. We want everything in the off position with the exception of the dryer. Now with that said, sometimes you don't have a dryer. You're going to locate your 220 that you're going to run your cords through. So let's go on over here and talk about cords for a minute. You can see I'm already running hot. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so we can hear. It's a Generac X-Ray Papa 8000 Echo that we got uh, at Lowe's. 12,000 starting watts. It's about, I don't know, 900, 1200 at Lowe's. You gotta have a generator. You gotta have a generator that's gonna sustain that A coil, that HVAC unit. I've created some fittings. See here, I have some like that. I have some like that. What I do, I simply take the fitting and I buy a Cooper electrical fitting, wire it in, screw it in appropriately. I've taken my cord. And there I have a male fitting that goes into my generator. I like to have about 150 feet of cord. Here's my cord going in. As I come in over here, you see I've run it all the way. I have a female fitting which plugs into the male fitting that we just saw. You see we've run it into the 220. The dryer in this case. So let's go on back outside and take a look at this again. Let's go step by step. We've already created our cords, the fittings, use the Cooper wire devices, device plug in plug and play devices. They're about forty dollars each. Trust me, it's better than blowing yourself up. Just went to a company went out to one of their job site interviews and these clowns were talking about hard wiring wire into the fuse panel uh, I'm not going to mention their name but uh, suffice it to say that they won't be in the industry long the surprise that they're maintaining a HUD contract anyway it's gonna fit in this one here is a little bit older I probably had to replace it here soon let's go on over here Remember at the fuse panel, everything is off except for your dryer. And come over here, throw a little choke, kick it in the on. We're running hot. I'm going to engage the 220. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to select what I want. I'm going to go ahead and engage the HVAC. I want a little bit of light so I can just show you all what's going on. So, uh, let's see here. There ain't too many light bulbs in this house. South, north bedroom, upstairs, breakfast rooms. Let's throw that one. Master bath. Let's throw the outlets. Let's go on in and take a look at what's going on. <laughs> now, 
see we're functioning. See our HVAC's engaged. Let's kick it over to the auto fan. There's two ways to show that you've actually tested this. I take a piece of paper, you see how it's sucking in there? I'm going to take a picture, that way I've documented that. Same thing. See where my fingers are? See how it's blowing up? I'm not lifting it up. I'm going to take a picture there. That's pretty much all there is to it. I always carry some extra light bulbs because you need to show that that light is working. I'm taking additionally pictures everywhere there's light. Take a picture. Document whether or not the stoves work. By the indication on the lights there. Now that's really about it in a nutshell. You're going to want the three prong and the two prong adapters. You got to show that these plugs are working. Get them at Lowe's, four or five bucks. Don't jerk around, don't get the cheap ones. Just take you too much time to dicker with them down the road. This has been another edition of Foreclosurepedia. We appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, gripes, want to see something specially done, give me a, drop me a line, COO at foreclosurepedia.org. We appreciate you tuning in, go over our whole series, and we'll talk to you later.